Hi, Bill. Hello, Dale. I think we're recording this time, so. Okie doke. We, uh, we're going to show these truck drivers how to check slacks. Yeah. Because it's not that tough. That's right. All you got to do is, if we have some stroke indicators, you can visual them. But we'll show them what the measurements are. They're just that easy, and you can buy them at any truck stop. They come in bags. Plastic bags. All right. Now, this trailer here is equipped with manual slack adjusters. The trailer next door has automatic slack adjusters. Right now, all the brakes are applied. Stroke indicators are out. Out of your service chamber. And that's only about an inch. Probably out about an inch. Under, maybe an inch and a quarter or an inch and an inch. See, that's what it looks like with the park brake applied. Okay, so I'm going to go to the cab now. I'm going to release my brakes. Get okay. brakes. You release the brakes. And we'll watch them go in. See, you've got them on four wheels. Here on this tandem trailer. It's not that tough to see what it looks like. There it goes. The brakes release. I do. Okay, so now, gentlemen, we're going to make a full service brake application. I'm going to wet your brake pedal down, and if you're just checking trailer brakes, all you have to do is pull it back and put your hand out and hold it back. Leave that cane in, I'll come take a picture. Okay. So Billy's got, he's going to show us 100 psi on the, on the gauge. And he's going to make a 100 psi application. Working with the cane, trying to get it in there, make sure it's all stuck under there, so that the driver could do this all by himself. Okay, so we got the push rods out now, fully applied, and you can see we're just just at an inch, all right? And we can see that. Oh, oh you got her? Yeah. Okay, good. Go ahead, have another. No, nope, I'm nope, gonna have No, one. that's good. So typically now you're making uh, probably about a 90 or 100 pound service brake application, right? And then you're coming back here and measuring how much your stroke indicator came out of the push out with the push rod of your service chamber. And once you tune up your eye, you shouldn't even have to crawl under and have That's a good right. You'll know after doing this multiple, multiple times, times a thousand, what two inches, an inch and a half, and an inch looks like. And on this. this this uh, is just the way the authorities check it too. If you're participating in the air air system check, the uh, the maximum on this uh, regular stroke 30 inch chamber would be two inches, and then we would start running into trouble. That's right. Let's go have a look at the cane and the stick. All right. And this is how the driver does it by himself. It's also another way to check the air. Uh, sorry, the. The brake lights. The brake lights are also on. Yes. See, we've just got a cane in there. Yeah, you can yeah. use anything. You can break a branch off a tree if it's outside your cap. Put sure. it down. And then we've got a gauge that says we've got, holy crow, we're almost looking. We have no application gauge on this tractor. No, but we got 140 PSI, so there should be lots of application happening. Absolutely. Okay. Excellent. Thanks, Bill. You're welcome. Watch you came back.